Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. I'm your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. Today, we're talking about transport, which takes us to our next question. What do you think should be done to curb road accidents? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I, I think the, 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 the pedestrian, as a number one, should be crossing the road on where there's a market uh, sign crosswalks. So they should not be jaywalking, in other words, uh, number one. And number two, drivers should be uh, making sure that when people are walking across walks, they should stop for them. So there's no issues that they should. Secondly, it would be, if it held the fall, it would be nice if there is a, a, a signals, line signals where there's a big pedestrian walk as well as traffic. So, and then of course they have to follow those rules. But I think those uh, rules will work well uh, if, there's a, if they are followed. Sasa sirikali mimi nataka iweke mnini mkazo unasikia kwa TNSA si ndio kuangalia speedi hiyo na wawache nini hongo mimi nakwambia hongo 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 ndio natakana sirikali hongo ndio miharibu hii Kenya kabisa hongo wakisha block hiyo hongo Kenya itakuwa mzuri kwa everything maana ukiona hongo imefanya hii Kenya imeoza kabisa hata ukienda hapa tukienda kwa tuni kwenda wapi kila mahali hongo ndio miharibu hii kitu hongo tu akiblock tu hongo peke yake utaona hii mafa the government should prioritize um, putting um, uh, in place uh, structures. Uh, let, let's talk about um, the university. I think uh, there's a time, even in news, I saw the university president trying to push for the bridge there to be uh, repaired because it's normally flooded all the time. I don't know if it's been, I haven't been on, on the other side for like a while, so I don't know if it's been, it's, it's been repaired, but. Um, you find the structures that are supposed to help in keeping road safety for maybe where, you know, like now, uh, let's, uh, like the example I'm giving, we are being forced to use the highway and vehicles come at really high speeds. So I'm actually surprised there hasn't been, I don't know if, if it's not to my knowledge, but I'm actually surprised that there hasn't been an accident uh, uh, some uh, around the way to the hostels well, because people are using, crossing the road, you know, instead of using the that has been put in place and that's because it's not, it's not been fixed well and it's always flooded all the time so uh, make, making sure that the structures and, uh, and the guidelines are working as uh, they should will highly uh, fix issues to do uh, fix uh, issues pertaining to road accidents so that's my thoughts on that. The way we can minimize the accident those that we can Let's not drink and drive. Let's be mindful. Let's not overtake. Mali akuna continuous line. Let, then it's easy to do just basic things, but kila mtu unapatanga kona haraka. Haraka kuenda wapi? Kama una haraka kuenda, just take care of yourself. Yeah, just, just be keen. Kama kuna speed limit, follow the speed limit. Yes, and also now when you come to these people, uh, ni can how many these people are bara bara. There's some places, actually, you drive and you're like, this is just carelessness. Yeah, this one is an accident bound to happen. A place like Salga, we should go back there and see what, why, why are we having accidents there day in, day out? Have they gone to the site? They go to the site to say, rest in peace, oh, we are mourning with you guys. Have they seen what is, the, what is causing, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a black spot, yeah? So what, what's the problem? What's the, what can we do? Do we have to increase more bumps? Do we need to remove the bumps? What is the problem? What's the actual issue, Palico Ground, yeah? If you look at most of the roads, most of the roads don't have road signs. The other thing is um, there should be a body focused in curbing corruption among our traffic police because I think ESCC is not doing the right thing. There should not be a police uh, taking bribes in the roads because, as I said, it risks the lives of comrades and even those who are, are careful in the roads. So if you find a police uh, taking bribes for, for the sake... Uh, it's like comparing 200 bob with 50 lives, like we saw the, the situation in KU. I think the number one thing is the government should introduce a body that fully focuses on the safety in our roads. NTSA should, uh, should uh, maybe employ more people, uh, intelligence officers, to be around the roads and all that. And of course, there should be campaigns uh, to, to, to mobilize drivers to be careful in the roads. They should pay maybe adverts in, in, in social media platforms to, to instill the sense of being careful in our roads. 
we should be having drainage drainage yeah for example like the uhuru highway yesterday it was flooded because it did not have drainage like yeah in my opinion i'll advise uh, maybe the government should improve on that the most important thing ni kufuata tu maagizo sheria ni ile tu atufuati maagizo ama atufuati sheria ndo maana tunapata hizi ma accident but tukiweza pata ama tukiweza fuata sheria za barabarani eh tukiungana pamoja serikali abiria ama wapita njia na madereva tuhakikishe wote tumefuata sheria za barabarani of course tutapunguza accidents the government should be able to bring into account careless driver who are prone to cause road accidents and they should be able to access all the vehicles in the roads in Kenya to see if they are in good conditions everybody should be aware about the roads if you are a passenger then you should know the side of the road to use you should know when to cross the road and also as the drivers they should be uh, just be aware about uh, okay they have been there on, on those roads so they know the, the, the rules so they, they should not ignore them or forget them kaizo sawa nini and road the vehicles like you avoid boarding them eh na pia you nini you follow traffic rules kan nini kan said ya nini time ya magari kupita like unaacha zipite kwanza kuendesha na speed yenye ko medium na pia tusiendeshe barabara tukua walevi ama tukua katika hali ambayo our state of mind is not okay the government have a lot to to improve the roads and also the drivers each, each the driver has the responsibility to make to make sure they don't speed they don't drive their their vehicles carelessness and they are sober when driving Some of the things you can do to curb road accidents are basically just following the rules, making sure you observe traffic lights, um, do not use your phone and drive, do not drink and drive, also be reading the signs on the road and do not overspeed. There are many many more. Which takes us to our last question. Will the reinforcement of Michuki rules reduce road accidents? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Michuki laws ni ya mshipi, yani alileta mshipi watu kujifunga. Itasaidia manake ilikuwa nzuri sana hiyo. Manake mshipi unajua ukiwa hapo hata nini hata kama ni gari imetereza imeenda kwa kwa mtaro inasaidia. Eh? Lakini sijui kwa nini wakati mshuki alikufa na ikakufia hapo tu. Eh? Hiyo mshipi ikakufa tena. Is very wrong. Eh? <laughs> so nataka na serikali iangalie. Eh? Iangalie kitu ambayo inaweza kusaidia Kenya. Kwa nini wanawachanga kitu kama hiyo naona ni kitu very sensitive. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think it should come back because if you look at maybe our our we call it the matatu culture but it's good it's good at some point but we say everything has an advantage and a disadvantage the loud music in in our vehicles in our public transport i think it i don't think it should be that loud and also if you look at uh, the uh, the drivers in our, like the situation in KU the music hyping the driver to 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 go beyond the the speed limit for the for the students to be happy mishuki the, the mishuki laws should come back and i think uh, the current cs for transport kipchumba kipchumba more comment should i think um, do what mishuki did should uh, should return the laws and be strict for the sake of uh, the kenyan community for the kenyan people and for the safety of comrades yes. not only the matter too but also i know is about the uh, motorbikes those motorbikes and i have taken few times but i've asked them for them to give me a helmet because they're taking people without the helmet they should be forced to have a helmet for passenger so they should not be carrying people that has no helmet that's very dangerous so what they do is if they want it because they need a passenger they'll ask me i'll give you a helmet but then they don't have a helmet so if there's an accident the driver is also in danger So there is an enforcement in need it to particularly the motorcycles and a lot of people also take it including myself the reason is when there's a traffic jam they are easier to go around it to get you where you want to quicker but they will be they should be forced to have helmets for passenger and themselves because we don't want it, the driver could accident it either um the matatu that goes back to the enforcement as well so they should be uh, told to follow the rules Uh, they're running through people they're cutting another drivers uh, it becomes a zoo
uh, of course the seat belts and uh, the speed governors. I, I think I think this this the time was traveling and uh, there's there's a way the drivers they, they just switch the speed uh, speed governors off you know. So I I don't think I think on that I don't think it won't help much uh, because w what I've seen is that. Uh, People they don't people don't know how to you know control themselves uh, to give their the, themselves restrictions. So you put that in place, the governors, but they find a way to switch it off. You know when they're off road and there are no police uh, traffic officers. You know, so I, I think it only works when there's someone to push to push you know push push uh, push it forward. You know push that um, uh, uh, particular guide, guideline put you know in place. And also, I'd, I'd appeal that uh, uh, as drivers, as pedestrians, you know, uh, we, we can't normally wait for, like I've said, NTC will become irrelevant when uh, us ourselves, we, we don't, you know, follow through with the rules unless they're there, you know, to, to, to follow up. It's like, it, it's like, I think in high school where people used to, you know, be, people used to wait around to be followed, you know, to do this and do that. And that's how most people are, most people are you know, it's, it's human nature to, you know, just, you know, be that way. So NTSA uh, being there won't change much, but it's, uh, the, the Michuki rules, you know, I mean, it won't change much, but still, yeah, I think it, 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 that it all really depends on, on, on individual efforts, yeah. It's not used anymore because somebody somewhere is sleeping on their job and they are eating extra ex-checkers money. And so, Michuki's law is there. But nowadays, we have border borders with their law. They woke up in the morning, they pass the uh, wrong side on the road. Policeman, I see that I'm a police. And I put the wrong side of the roundabout. I couldn't police that I'm a border border. They overload the motorbikes. And that's why even border borders, so many of them have died. And so, in this country, we have reached a, a place where anybody can come up with a law. Who told the border borders that they can just use the wrong side of the road and nobody can question them? Are they the lawmakers? The Michuki law really worked when uh, the girl was around. Why? Sometimes somebody has a vision, but you don't share the vision with other people. So, Kama, you're not there to implement and many people. It's dirty to answer. Unona, speed governor, unaskem sa meenda sha the car is beeping t t t and anajuapa na fakwa eighty, you know. So at the end of the day, if you want to be policed, that's a apo it's just between you and God. But some things as a human being, you just need to take care of. Kama ni eighty kilometer per hour, do it. Kama ni seat belt, do it. But that's a it is seat belt. As you know, kwa matatu. That thing is dirty. It's not even functioning and everything. Yeah. So. I think let's not be policed, let's just do things because we want to do things and we just want to stay safe. With the Michuki law, uh, if you look at the buses that are around Nairobi CBD, most of the buses, they do not have safety belts. The law, it does not apply with the buses. So uh, as much as we are saying uh, it's around Nairobi, accidents occur. It's, it's not a matter of we are in Nairobi or maybe outskirt, the outskirts of Nairobi. So with the Michuki law, it should be brought back so that we can observe our safety as far as the people of Nairobi. Itaenda chini kabisa zitasaidia that. The problem with Kenya is that iyo kitu wata wakisema wamerudisha leo, watarudisha then after inaweza kuwa serious for the first one week or one month watu watafuata inaweza saidia kupunguza hizo ma accident but uh, after some days utapata hiyo story imeisha watu wameanza kusahau wameanza kurudia zile ma ignorance zao of what is on the Michuki rule 10 so ikiletwa sasa hii watu watafuata for a very short time then isaulike tena such laws will help mitigate road accident yeah, it will actually help to reduce the road accidents because one, reducing the music in the vehicles, uh, it will help the drivers to concentrate as well as helping the passengers. You know, when, the, when a loud music is played in the, in the, in the vehicle, uh, maybe passengers will be concentrating on the music and they will not see whether the, the driver is about to lose control. Yeah, about uh, safety belts, it also helps a lot because maybe when the, when the 
sometimes you find when the, the vehicle is about to or has lost control, you find that people will be attempting to uh, to jump over the windows, but the safety belts will help them to remain intact until the solution maybe will have come. Yeah, definitely it is idea. Mm, so come on, loud music, he needs to find the reverse to concentrate. Yeah, so it later like it, it, it reduced to accident. It apunguza, for instance, unajua pakiwa na kelele, the driver will not be able to concentrate well. Na pia kama umelewa and you are driving, you are really, really risking the life of others. Kwa sababu, uoni, you know you can't see when you are drunk well and you are not thinking well. You may be seeing the road is on the left side while you are driving on the right side, yeah. I think so, because you see current, currently, I don't, I don't see these nature belts. They are not working. Unakuta tu watu wanaingia kwa gari, awajifungi mishipi, that's all. Definitely will, because we actually saw a very huge impact when he was in power uh, during his tenures. Uh, there was so much reduced road accidents, the whole issue ya nini must speed governor and nini zilikuwa na fuatiliwa. So I think they should bring back the Michuki law. Ndiyo watu pia washikela. Inojua Kenya pia sazingine, we can tend to be vichuangumu at times. So watu wa rudishe maze. Michiki rules should definitely be reinforced because that means we're going back to seat belts in cars. Um, we're also going back to checking if the cars have speed governors and ensuring every tout and driver is wearing um, a uniform. That makes it easy to identify the conductor you're giving your money to or the driver who's designated for that car is the official driver. Last thing, I would like to advise every passenger to be very careful in um, whatever car they're boarding because your life does not have an insurance, but that car does have an insurance. And to all the drivers, please be careful, no overspeeding. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, SK Gitonga. See you next time. Bye.